Hi everyone, I am Professor Sun Gwon Myung and in this video I'm gonna talk about special senses. Actually, this is the last video. Key terms. Accommodation is the adjustment of the eye for various distances so that the image falls on the retina of the eye. Acuity is clearness or sharpness of a sensory function. With Nexa, tissues or structures in the body adjacent to all their related structure. Articulate is to join or connect together loosely to allow motion between the parts. Gustation is sense and act of tasting foods, beverages, or other substances. Humor is any fluid or semi-fluid of the body. Labyrinth is a series of intricate communicating passages. Olfaction is the act and sense of smelling. Ossicle is any small bone, especially one of the three bones of the ear. Photopigment is light sensitive pigment in the retinal cones and rods that absorbs light and initiates the visual process, which is also called visual pigment. Slit lamp is a microscope with a specialized light that allows magnification of eye structures, especially the lens, cornea, and iris, and with additional attachments to vitreous, humor, and retina. Tunic is a layer or coat of tissue. It is also called the membrane layer. Anatomy and Physiology. This figure shows the eye structures. Number one, sclera. And uh, beneath the sclera, there is choroid and also retina. And uh, in the front part, you can see the <coughs> pupil, lens, and iris, cornea. And there are several chambers, anterior chamber and posterior chamber, and the canal of shalom. And you can see the conjunctiva and salivary body, suspensory ligament. And uh, in the posterior part of the eyeball, you can see the fovea in macula and optic nerve, optic disc. And inside the eyeball, there is a vitreous chamber. Special senses uh, are general sensations perceived by the body uh, include touch, pressure, pain, and temperature. These sensations are not identified with any specific side of the body. Specific sensations include smell, also called olfaction, taste, gustation, vision, hearing, audition, and balance. Each sensation is connected to specific organ or structure in the body. This chapter presents information on the sense of vision provided by the eye and senses of hearing and equilibrium provided by the ear. First, eye. <clears throat> eye is a globe-shaped organ composed of three distinct tunics or layers, fibrous tunic, vascular tunic, and sensory tunic. First, fibrous tunic. This is the outermost layer of the eyeball. It serves as a protective coat for the more sensitive structures beneath. There are several structures. Sclera, or white of the eye, provides a strength, shape, and structure to the eye. As the sclera passes in front of the eye, it bulges forward to become the cornea. Cornea, rather than being opaque, transplant, allowing light to enter the interior of the eye. One of the few body structures that does not contain capillaries and must rely on eye fluids for nourishment. The conjunctiva is a thin membrane. It covers the outer space surface of the eye and lines the eyelids. Second, tunic is the vascular tunic. 
This is the middle layer of the eyeball, aka uvea. It consists of the choroid, iris, and ciliary body. Choroid provides the blood supply for the entire eye. It contains pigmented cells that prevent extraneous light from entering the inside of the eye. An opening in the choroid allows the optic nerve to enter the inside of the eyeball. Iris. Uh, in the anterior portion of the choroid, a colored contractile membrane whose perforated enter center is called the pupil. The iris regulates the amount of light passing through the pupil to the interior of the eye. As environmental light increases, the pupil constricts and as light decreases, the pupil dilates. The ciliary body is a circular muscle that produces aqueous humor. It is attached to a capsular bag that holds the lens by the suspensory ligaments. As the ciliary muscle contracts and relaxes, it alters the shape of the lens making it thicker or thinner. These changes in shape allow the eye to focus on image, a process called accommodation. The sensory tuning is the innermost, the delicate, double-layered retina. It consists of a thin, outer pigmented layer lying over the choroid and the thick inner nervous layer or visual portion. It is responsible for the reception and transmission of visual impulses to the brain. There are two types of visual receptors called rods and cones. Rods function in dim light and produce black and white vision. Cones function in bright light and produce color vision. The fovea. In the center of the macula, there is fovea. All of its receptors are cones that lie very close to each other, provides the greatest acuity for color vision. When the eye focuses on an object, light rays from that object are directed to the fovea. There are also other structures in the eye. Rods and cones contain a chemical called photopigment or visual pigment. As light strikes the photopigment, as light strikes the photopigment, a chemical change occurs that stimulates rods and cones. The chemical changes produce impulses that are transmitted through the optic nerve to the brain where they are interpreted as vision. Both the optic nerve and blood vessels of the eye enter at the optic disc. Its center is referred to as the blind spot because the area has neither rods nor cones for vision. Aqueous humor is one of two major fluids of the, uh, of the eye found in the posterior chamber and anterior chamber and it provides nourishment for the lens and the cornea. It is continually produced by the ciliary body, and it is drained from the eye through a small opening called the canal of shilum. If aqueous humor fails to drain from the eye at the rate at which it is produced, a condition called glaucoma results. The vitreous humor is the second major humor of the eye a jelly-like substance that fills the interior of the eye, the vitreous chamber. The vitreous humor lens and aqueous humor are the refractive structures of the eye, which bend light rays, focusing them sharply on the retina. If any one of these structures does not function properly, vision is impaired. The adnexa of the eye include all supporting structures of the eye globe. There are six muscles controlling the movement of the eye. The superior, inferior, lateral, and medial rectus muscles and the superior and inferior oblique muscles. They coordinate the eyes so that they move in a synchronized manner. Eyelids 
are composed of two movable folds of skin, each with eye lashes that protect the front of the eye. Conjunctival. Conjunctival lines the inner surface of the eyelids and the cornea. Lacrimal glands lying superior and to the outer edge of each eye. They produce tears that bathe and lubricate the eyes. Canthi. The tears collect at the inner edge of the eye and then pass through pinpoint openings, the lacrimal canals, to the mucous membranes that line the inside of the nasal cavity. This figure shows the lacrimal apparatus. Number one, conjunctiva. Number two, lacrimal gland. And there are uh, upper punctum and the lower punctum. And you can see the lacrimal sac and nasal lacrimal, lacrimal duct and nasal cavity. Hearing, ear, the sense receptor organ for hearing and equilibrium. Hearing, the ear is consisting of three major sections, the outer or external ear, the middle ear or tympanic cavity, and the inner ear or labyrinth. The external ear conducts sound waves through air, the middle ear through bone, and the inner ear through fluid. This series of transmissions ultimately generate impulses that are sent to and interpreted by the brain as sound. The auricle collects waves traveling through air and channels them to the external auditory canal also called the ear canal. This figure shows the ear structures. Um, the ear structures are divided into three parts, the external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. In the external ear, you can see the auricle and the external auditory canal. And in the middle ear, you can see the ossicle bones malleus incus steps and uh, between the external ear and the middle ear you can see the tympanic membrane and the inner ear there are semicircular canals and there is a vestibular cochlear nerve and cochlear vestibule and also the eustachian tube the eustachian tube is connected uh, between the inner ear and the nasal cavity. Ear canal is a slender tube lined with glands that produce a waxy secretion called the cerumen. Its stickiness traps tiny foreign particles and prevents them from entering the deeper areas of the canal. The tympanic membrane aka tympanum or eardrum, is a flat membranous structure drawn over the end of the ear canal. Sound waves entering the ear canal strike against the tympanic membrane, causing it to vibrate. <coughs> I'm sorry. Its movement causes movement of the three smallest bones of the body, collectively called the ossicles. There are three ossicles. Malleus or hammer, incus or anvil, or and staples, stirrups. They are located within the tympanic cavity and form a coupling between the tympanic membrane and the cochlea, which is the first structure of the inner ear. Malleus is attached to the eardrum and articulates with the incus. The steps articulate with the incus and is attached to cochlea. The cochlea is a snail-shaped structure filled with a fluid called perilymph. It is lined with a highly sensitive hearing structure called the organ of corti, which contains tiny nerve endings called the hair cells. There is oval window, which is a membrane-covered opening on the external surface of the cochlea. It provides a place for attachment of the steps. The movement of the ossicles in the ear causes the steps
to exert a gentle pumping action against the oval windows. Stay peace. The sound, uh, the movement of the ossicles in the middle ear causes the stapes to exert a gentle pumping action against the oval window. The pumping action forces the pedal lamp to disturb the hair cells, generating impulses that are transmitted to the brain by way of the auditory nerve, where they are interpreted as sound. The eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the pharynx. It equalizes uh, pressure on the outer and inner surfaces of the eardrum. When certain pressure changes occur, pressure can be equalized on either side of the tympanic membrane by deliberate swallowing. Oh, go back to the uh, figure. Okay, the eustachian connects uh, the middle ear, not inner ear. Okay, I correct. Okay, the eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the pharynx. <laughs> and now I'm going to talk about the equi equilibrium. An inner ear consists of a system of fluid filled tubes and sacs, as well as the nerves that connect these structures to the brain, because of which Maze-like design, it is referred to as the labyrinth. Labyrinth, which rests inside the bone of the skull, includes not only the cochlea, the organ devoted to hearing, but also the vestibular system, which is devoted to the control of balance and eye movements. The vestibular system contains the semicircular canals and the vestibule. The vestibule joins the cochlea and the semicircular canals. Many complex structures located in this maze are responsible for maintaining for both static and dynamic equilibrium. Canal. Static equilibrium, the orientation of the body relative to gravity, this allows an individual to maintain posture and orientation while at rest. Dynamic equilibrium maintains body position in response to movement. Medical word element. Emboli means dull, dim. Emblopia. Embliopia means reduction or dimness of vision. Aku means water. Akus means pertaining to water. Blepharo means eyelid. Blepharoptis. Blepharoptosis is drooping of the upper eyelid. Choroid. Choroid. Core or pupil means pupil. So, choreometer is the instrument for measuring the pupil. Conjunctiva, conjunctiva. Cornea or keratoid. These terms also indicate the cornea. Cycle. Seal means ciliary body. Dacrio means tear or lacrim. Dacrio cyst means lacrimal sac. Glauc means gray. Glaucoma means increased intraocular pressure that destroys the retina and optic nerve if not treated. Gonia means angle. Gonioscopy is the examination of the angle and drainage area of the the eye. Iris eyelid. Oculo or ophthalmo means eye. Opt. Optic means eye and also vision. Fac means lens. So facocil is the displacement of the crystalline lens into the interior chamber of the eye. Photo means light. Press B means old age. Press biopia. Presbyopia means loss of accommodation of the crystalline lens associated with the aging process. Retina, retina. Scleroma means sclera or hardening. Scot means darkness. Scotoma is island-like blind spot in the visual field. 
Vitru means vitreous body. Od means hearing. O O O T means uh, ear. Labyrinth labyrinth. Mastoid means mastoid process is the one of the uh, brain uh, scalp part. <clears throat> Salping means tube, tube. Stape means stapes. Meeting, tympan, they mean tympanic membrane. Opia, o opia, mean vision. Diplopia, diplopia means double vision. Tropia means turning. Acousia means hearing. Anacousia means deafness. Cautious means also uh, hearing. Plus because cis. Plus because cis means progressive hearing loss due to the aging process. Exo outside. <laughs> Hyper means excessive. Pathology. Ophthalmology is the medical specialty concerned with disorders of the eye. Ophthalmologist is the physician who treats these disorders. Optometrists either work with ophthalmologists in a medical practice. Otolaryngology is the medial, medical specialty concerned with disorders of the ear, nose, and throat or ENT. Ear, nose, and throat. Otolaryngologist is the physician who treats these disorders. Audiologist is allied, uh, this is allied uh, healthcare professional who works with the patients that have hearing balance and related problems. <laughs> Eye disorders include not only visual uh, deficiencies associated with refractive errors, but also disorders of associated with structures such as the eye muscles, nerves, and blood vessels. Most ocular examinations begin by recording visual acuity and visual field. Common eye disorders include errors of refraction, cataracts, glaucoma, strabismus, and macular degeneration. First, errors of refraction. An error of refraction, which is called ometropia, exists when light rays fail to focus sharply on the retina. It may be due to a defect in the lens, cornea, or the shape of the eyeball. Myopia. If the eyeball is too long, the image falls in front of the retina, causing nearsightedness. Hyperopia or hypermetropia is farsightedness, the opposite of myopia. So the eyeball is too short and the image falls behind the retina. Presbyopia is a form of farsightedness, a defect associated with the aging process. It usually occurs between ages 40 and 45. Distant objects are seen clearly, but near objects are not in proper fo focus. Astigmatism is uh, the cornea or lens has a defective coverage. It causes light rays to diffuse over a large area of the retina rather than being sharply focused. <laughs> Corrective lenses usually compensate for the various types of ometropia. So, LASIK surgery. LASIK means laser assisted in situ keratomyelitis surgery. Uh, this is an alternative to corrective lenses. It permanently changes the shape of the cornea. A small incision is made in the cornea to produce a flap. The flap is lifted to the side, while a laser reshapes the underlying corneal tissue. At the completion of the procedure, the corneal flap is replaced. It usually takes less than 15 minutes. Not all people are candidates for this surgery. This figure shows the refraction of eye. Uh, this one shows emetropia, means normal eye. So the light uh, falls on the retina. 
But myopia, myopia, the eyeball is too long, so the light uh, uh, fails to uh, fall on the retina, so in front of the retina. And hyperopia, and this shows astigmatism, so the focus is is not sharp. Cataract. Uh, opacities that form on the lens and impair vision are commonly produced by protein that slowly builds up over time until vision is lost. Uh, the most common form of cataract is AZ related. More than one half of Americans, older than 65, are affected. <laughs> Congenital cataracts are found in children, usually a result of a genetic defect or maternal rubella during the first trimester of pregnancy. Treatment includes removal of the cloudy the lens by emulsifying it using ultrasound or a laser probe, which is called FACO emulsification, and an artificial bendable intraocular lens is then inserted into the capsule, IOL, artificial bendable intraocular lens. <laughs> this figure shows FACO emulsification, cataract is removed, and the artificial lens are inserted. Glaucoma is characterized by increased intraocular pressure caused by the failure of aqueous humor to drain from the eye through a tiny duct called the canal of the canal of Shilam. The increased pressure on the optic nerve destroys it and vision is permanently permanently lost. Although there are various forms of glaucoma, all of them eventually lead to blindness unless the condition is detected and treated in its early stages. It may occur as a primary or congenital disease or secondary to other causes such as injury, infection, surgery, or prolonged topical corticosteroid use. Primary glaucoma can be chronic or acute. In acute form, uh, there is angle closure or narrow angle glaucoma. This is accompanied by extreme ocular pain, blurred vision, redness of the eye, and dilation of the pupil, and nausea and vomiting. If untreated, acute glaucoma causes complete and permanent blindness within two to five days. The chronic glaucoma is an open angle, simple, or wide angle glaucoma. No symptoms except gradual loss of peripheral vision over a period of years occur. Headaches, blood vision, and dull pain in the eye can develop. Copying of the optic discs on ophthalmoscopic examination is observed. Glaucoma is diagnosed by tonometry, which is a screening test that measures intraocular pressure by determining the resistance of the eyeball to indentation by an applied force. A slit lamp with a high intensity beam is used to examine the external surface and the internal segments of the eye after administration of a local anesthetic. Devices such as a tonometer, which measures intraocular pressure, and a gonioscope, which visualizes the anterior chamber angle expand the scope of the examination. The one that is considered most accurate is applanation tonometry. The treatments are medication that cause the pupils to constrict myotics, which permits aqueous humor to escape from the eye, thereby relieving pressure. And also surgery may be necessary. This figure shows Applanation tonometry using a slit lamp to measure intraocular pressure. Strabismus, aka heterotropia or tropia, 
This is a condition in which one eye is misaligned with the other, and the eyes do not focus simultaneously when viewing an object mm, in any direction. The strabismus can develop, for example, inward, esotropia, outward, exotropia, up, down, or any combination of these. It may be a constant condition or may arise intermittently with stress, exhaustion, or illness. In normal vision, each eye views an image from a somewhat different vantage point thus transmitting a slightly different image to the brain. The result is binocular perception of depth or three-dimensional space, a phenomenon known as stereopsis. Strabismus commonly causes a loss of stereopsis. In children, strabismus is commonly, but not always associated with lazy eye syndrome, amblyopia. Vision is suppressed in the lazy eye so that the child uses only the good eye for vision. The vision pathway pa fails to develop in the lazy eye. A critical period during which amblyopia must be corrected usually is before age 6. If not detected and treated early in life, amblyopia can cause a permanent loss of vision in the affected eye with associated loss of stereopsis. The treatment for strabismus depends on the cause. It commonly consists of covering the normal eye, forcing the child to use the debated one, deviated one. Eye exercises and corrective lenses may be prescribed, or surgical correction may be necessary. This figure shows the types of strabismus. So there are various types of strabismus. Macular degeneration is the deterioration of the macula, uh, the most sensitive portion of the retina. The macula is responsible for central or straight or head vision required for reading, driving, detailed work, and recognizing faces. Although deterioration of the macula is associated with the toxic effects of some drugs, the most common type is age-related macular degener degeneration. ARMD or AMD. ARMD is a leading cause of visual loss. There are two forms of ARMD, wet and dry. Wet or neovascular ARMD is the less common but more severe form. It affects about 10% of those afflicted with the, the disease. So small blood vessels form under the macula. Blood and other fluids leak from these vessels and destroy the visual cells, leading to severe loss of central vision and permanent visual impairment. If identified in its early stages, laser surgery can be employed to destroy the newly forming vessels, laser photocoagulation. It is successful in about one half of the patients with wet ARMD. However, the effects of the procedure commonly do not last, and new vessels begin to form. Uh, the other one is, uh, the other is dry ARMD, a small yellowish deposit called drusen, um, develop on the macula and interfere with the central vision. Drusen are dried retinal pigment epithelial cells that form granules on the macula. Although some vision is lost, this form of the disease rarely leads to total blindness. Patients with dry ARMD are encouraged to see their ophthalmologist frequently and perform a simple at-home test that identifies visual changes that may indicate the development of the more serious neovascular ARMD. This figure shows the macular degeneration. Uh, if you have uh, macular degeneration, uh, you will have the central vision loss like this. And ear disorders have common signs and symptoms like uh, hearing loss, ear ache, pain in ear, and vertigo and tinnitus. 
Uh, common ear disorders are otitis media and otosclerosis. Otitis media is an inflammation of the middle ear. It is caused by a virus or bacterium. The most common culprit is streptococcus pneumonia. It is found most commonly in infants and young children, especially in the presence of an upper respiratory infection, ULI, or common cold. Symptoms are earache and draining of pus from the ear, which is called otopyorrhea. In its most severe form, infection of the mastoid process, which is mastoiditis, or inflammation of brain tissue near the middle ear, autoencephalitis. The treatment includes bed rest, medications to relieve pain, and antibiotics. Occasionally, an incision of the eardrum, meningotomy or tympanotomy may be necessary to relieve pressure and promote drainage. The main treatment for children with recurrent infection is the use of pressure equalizing tubes, PE tubes, that are passed through the tympanic membrane, help drain fluid from the middle ear. Autosclerosis is a disorder characterized by an abnormal hardening ankylosis of bones of the middle ear that causes hearing loss. Most commonly, autosclerosis affects stapes, the bone that attaches to the oval window of the cochlea. Typically, it is closely tied to genetic factors. And for the treatment, surgical correction is necessary. Removing part of the stapes is called the stapedectomy, or more commonly, stapedotomy, and also implanting of a prosthetic device that allows sound waves to pass to the inner ear is necessary. Oncology. Uh, two major neoplastic diseases account for more than 94% of all primary intraocular diseases. Retinoblastoma, found primarily in children, and melanoma, found primarily in adults. So retinoblastoma and melanoma. Retinoblastoma involves the retinal neuron. Vision is impaired, and in about 30% of patients, the disease is found in both eyes bilateral. Melanoma may occur in the orbit. The treatment for retinoblastoma usually involves the removal of the affected eye enucleation, followed by radiation in melanoma, where the lesion is on the iris, an iridectomy is performed. Many eye tumors are non-invasive and are not necessarily life-threatening. Diagnostic, symptomatic, and related terms. Achromatopsia, ach achromatopsia. Severe congenital deficiency in color perception. Collagen is a small, hard tumor developing on the eyelid, somewhat similar to a sebaceous cyst. Conjunctivitis is an inflammation of the conjunctiva with vascular congestion, producing a red or pink eye. It may be secondary to viral, chlamydial, bacterial, or fungal infections or allergy. Convergence is medical movement of the two eyeballs so that they are both directed at the object viewed. The opter. The opter is the measurement of refractive error. Ectropion is eversion or outward turning of the edge of the lower eyelid. Emetropia is normal condition of the eye in fraction, in refraction. Entropion is inversion or inward turning of the, the edge of the lower eyelid. Epiphora is abnormal overflow of tears. Exophthalmos is protrusion of one or both eyeballs. Hodialum is localized circumscribed inflammatory swelling of one of the uh, several sebaceous glands of the eyelid, generally caused by a bacterial infection. It is also called sty. Metamorphopsia is a visual distortion of objects. 
Nystagmus is involuntary eye movements that appear jerky and may reduce vision or be associated with other more serious conditions that limit vision. Papil edema is the edema and hyperemia of the optic disc usually associated with increased ocular pressure resulting from intracranial pressure. Photophobia is unusual intolerance and sensitivity to light. Presbyopia, presbyopia is loss of accommodation of the crystalline lens associated with the aging process. Retinopathy any disorder of retinal uh, blood vessels. Uh, trachoma. Uh, <clears throat> trachoma is chronic contagious form of conjunctivitis common in the southwestern United States that typically leads to blindness. Uh, visual field is the area within which objects may be seen when the, the eye is in a fixed position. Conduction impairment is blocking of sound waves as they are conducted through the external and the middle ear. Labyrinthitis, inflammation of the inner ear that usually results from an acute febrile process, manual disease is the disorder of the labyrinth that leads to progressive loss of hearing. Otitis externa is infection of the external auditory canal. Presbyacusis is the impairment of hearing resulting from old age. Pressure equalizing tubes, P tubes, these are tubes that are inserted through the tympanic membrane commonly to treat chronic otitis media, which is also called tympanostomy tubes or ventilation tubes. Tinnitus is the perception of ringing, hissing, or other sounds in the ears or head when no external sound is present. Vertigo is a hallucination of movement or a feeling of spinning or dizziness. Diagnostic and therapeutic procedures. Audiometry is the measurement of hearing acuity at various sound wave frequencies. Caloric stimulation test is the test. This is the test that uses different temperatures to assess the vestibular portion of the nerve of the inner ear to determine if nerve, nerve damage is the cause of vertigo. Electronystagmography, ophthalmodynamometry, tonometry. Tonometry is the evaluation of intraocular pressure by measuring the resistance of the eyeball to ident indentation by an applied force. Visual acuity test is the part of an eye examination that determines the smallest letters that can be read on a standardized chart at a distance of 20 feet. Uh, 20, uh, 20 inches. Gonioscopy. Uh, wait. Ah, this is usually 20, 20 feet. Okay. And gonioscopy is the examination of the angle of the anterior chamber of the eye to determine ocular motility and rotation and diagnose and manage glaucoma. Ophthalmoscopy is the visual examination of the interior of the eye using a handheld instrument called an ophthalmoscope, which has various adjustable lenses for magnification and the light source to illuminate the interior of the eye. Otoscopy is Visual examination of the external auditory canal and the tympanic membrane using an otoscope. Retinoscope is the evaluation of refractive errors of the eye by projecting a light into the eyes and determining the movement of reflected light rays. Dacryocystography, radiographic imaging procedures of the 
nasolacrimal glands and ducts, fluorescent angiography, assesses blood vessels and their leakage in any in and beneath the retina by injecting a colored dye and allowing it to circulate while photographs of the intraocular circulation are recorded. Orthoptic training is uh, exercises intended to improve eye movement or visual tracking that use training glasses, prism glasses, or uh, tinted or colored lenses. Surgical terminologies, blepharo blepharectomy is the excision of a lesion on the eyelid. Blepharoplasty is a cosmetic surgery that removes fatty tissue called the bags above and below the eye, which commonly form as a result of the aging process or excessive exposure to the sun. Cochlear implant is an artificial hearing device that produces useful hearing sensation by electrically stimulating nerve inside the inner ear. It is called, also called bionic ear. Uh, enucleation is the removal of the, eye, the eyeball from the orbit. Evisceration is the removal of the contents of the eye while leaving the sclera and cornea. Keratotomy is incision of the cornea. Mastoid anthrotomy is a surgical opening of a cavity within the mastoid process. Autoplasty is corrective surgery for a deformed or excessively large or small pinna. Falco emulsification is the method of treating cataracts by using ultrasonic waves to disintegrate the cloud lens, which is then aspirated and removed. Sclerostomy is a surgical formation of an opening in the sclera. Tympanoplasty is the reconstruction of the eardrum, commonly due to a perforation. It is also called biringoplasty. Pharmacology. There are several drugs used to treat sensory disorders. Antibiotics, anti-glaucoma agents, mediatics, mediatics, mediatics delay the pupil, ophthalmic decongestants, ophthalmic moisturizers, antiemetics, treat and prevent nausea vomiting, optic analgesics provide a temporary relief from pain and inflammation associated with optic disorders. Wax emulsifiers loosen and help remove impacted serum and ear wax. It is carbamide peroxide. Abbreviations? ACC, accommodation, ARMD or AMD, age-related macular degeneration, AST, astigmatism, D, diopto, lens strength, EM, emetropia, normal vision, EOM, extraocular movement. Lastly, IOL, intraocular lens, IOP, intraocular pressure, Myo myopia, OD, right eye, OS, left eye, RK, radial keratotomy, a radical keratotomy, uh, ST, esotropia, VA, visual acuity, VF, visual field, in ear, AD, right ear, AS, left ear, AU, both ears, BC, bone conduction, ENT, ear, nose, and throat, PE tube, pressure equalizing tube. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention. See you next week. Bye.